morning, everyone. Uh, I welcome you all for today's webinar, which is on optimizing AP processing with Canon's imaging platform for Oracle applications. My name is Sunil Bhatnagar, and I manage the sales and business development function for YASH Technologies for the North American market. I'm accompanied with Haider Nakvi, who's a solution architect from Canon Information and Imaging Solutions. Uh, Heather, why don't you quickly introduce yourself to everyone? Yes, I'm uh, Haider Nakvi. Uh, I'm a solution architect at uh, Canon Information and Imaging um, ser Services. Um, I will be doing the technical portion of the uh, of this presentation. Right. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Heather, for that quick introduction. Uh, now, before we get into the webinar, uh, I wanted to let you know that we've divided the agenda of this webinar into three parts. Uh, the initial part, I'm going to talk about uh, how the organizations manage their document and information. What are the key pain points or the issues that the uh, organizations face in managing uh, documents and information? Uh, then I'm going to touch uh, on EIP, the product that Canon has. Uh, then it would be followed up by, by Heather, who's going to deep dive into the technical architecture and then showcase a demo. Uh, we'll have a question and answer session at the end of the webinar, uh, wherein we'll try to resolve as many queries as we can within the stipulated time. Uh, so during the flow of this webinar, if you have any queries, you can uh, key them down in, in, in the question box that you see on the right hand side of your screen. So before we get into the webinar, uh, I'll briefly let you know what Yash Technologies is. Now Yash Technologies is a premier Oracle services partner. Uh, we have competencies in J.D. Edwards, PeopleSoft, Siebel, Business Intelligence, eBusiness Suite, and Fusion Middleware. Now, due to our competencies onto the JD Edwards, uh, the application stack, and the Fusion Middleware stack, we are a delivery partner to Canon EIP product, which is based on SWOT standards. Now, documents are pervasive in each and every function of an organization. So, according to an IDC report, which you see on your screen, these are the a number of scans that happen across these industry verticals in a month. Now to add to that, 25% of your time is wasted in managing these paper documents. That means around three and a half hours are wasted every week of a resource in managing these documents. Now how do we actually automate processes and make them more efficient? Also, the information is scattered within an organization. So you, you'll have your information scattered across your ERPs, your CRMs, different databases. And again, the information is in the document format. It's sometimes in the electronic form or sometimes it's just ink on paper. Now, how do we integrate documents into our business processes? So with these two generic issues that most of the organizations face, in managing their documents and information, customers normally seek a solution for that. These are the normal solutions that the customers look at. So when they are looking at a data capture solution, they look at products like Cofax, Iris, Captiva. When it is a content management solution, they, they look for Documentum, SharePoint, and Open Text. Same way, when they are looking to integrate their disparate systems, they look at products from TIPCO, Data Spider, Web Message, Scotus. And when they are looking at report and form creation and printing, they look at Adobe, they look at Oracle BI Publisher or HP OpenView Reporting. Now, EIP cuts across all these particular products and gives you or offers you a single platform within, with the best in breed functionalities of these, these particular solutions. Now, EIP primarily is based on SOA technology, has document imaging capabilities, has enterprise application capabilities. That means it delivers an end-to-end -end solution. So normally, like we just saw, you know, normally the, the products are basically focused either on data capture or ECM or PDF creation or application integration. Whereas 
EIP offers you a single platform with the functionalities of all these separate products into one. Now EIP helps you as a robust document imaging product. It helps you capture, create, and process your different documents. It, 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 it's helpful in enterprise application integration. Now that means it helps you and gives you improved efficiency, greater traceability of information, limited manual tasks, and limited number of manual errors. So I'll, I'll briefly run you through a typical account payable department for, 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 uh, uh, for JDE application. Now this is how a typical account payable department works. You open and you sort your mail. You enter invoice manually. You validate it against the PO. You route it then through the workflow for approvals. Then the invoices are turned to account payable. And then you finally pay invoices. Now these are the typical challenges that are faced on the account payable side for the JD Edward customers. A lot of manual entry happens wherein a forestry research, as you can see, shows that estimated rate of error is 10%. And considering thousands of documents being uh, managed in a month, you can very well understand that how much money is spent in reconciling these errors. Secondly, the documents are in different formats, so obviously they are difficult to scan and to automate. Again, a lot of solutions don't provide an archival solution, or even if you want to go ahead and buy one, these solutions are really expensive. There is limited collaboration uh, since you're using disparate systems, so the information sharing does not happen that smoothly. And again, it is slow and really costly to adapt the processes to the business changes that happen. Through an Everdeen Group report, you can very well see that if your account payable processes are done manually, a time to process an invoice is close to 20 working days, that's almost a month. Wherein, EIP provides you best in class, which is around three and a half days. More than that, the cost is around $38 to process an invoice. Look at the kind of saving you can do wherein by choosing a product like EIP wherein you get $3 to process an invoice. Now EIP is an Oracle validated, uh, validated it, it has an Oracle validated integration for JD Edward Enterprise One, for Oracle EBS, and for the Salesforce customers. Now this is how it helps our customers. It helps them automate their data extraction from AP invoices and create JD vouchers. That is, it, it is eliminating the need of any kind of manual entry of invoicing line items. Again, it is eliminating manual label creation. Again, it offers you a content repository for archival. And then the workflow for the JD invoicing happens through that. Now with these benefits and an overview about EIP, I will hand it over to Heather, who's going to talk more around the technical architecture and show you a demonstration of the product. So over to you, Heather. Thank you. Um, I will share my screen. So the typical process um, uh, uh, for procure to pay, uh, as Neil was outlining, uh, requires um, you know a, or an organization to create a purchase order, send it to the supplier, and then um, the client receives the products or services, and then the supplier uh, creates the invoice and sends that over. Uh, without a automated solution, that invoice or that receipt will have to be manually uh, typed in 
uh, to an ERP system or AP automation system, and the paper will have to be filed away in endless cabinets. Um, it, so it's very cost costly process. So <clears throat> typically, that's uh, w what's happening in most of the organizations. An automated process will have uh, can uh, streamline streamline that process and there are basically three activities occurring uh, in that process which is the first uh, activity is receive, scan and extract, uh, the second is manage and follow up and the third is process payments by AP teams. And how our solution can automate this is we have an advanced OCR engine which can um, pick up the email, uh, pick up invoices from emails, uh, won't require any uh, printing and scanning. Uh, it can also uh, receive input from fax machines or scanners. And once, once it uh, gets, gets these invoices or receipts, um, it can extract information from paper and, and digitize it. And of course, what we do is we cross-reference the data on paper with ERP data and uh, make sure all everything that we're extracting is valid. Um, we also don't have any templates. Our extraction is template-based, is not template-based, it's rule-based. So over the years we have created rules uh, which uh, uh, take advantage of um, uh, cross-check keywords and uh, uh, and uh, context-based searching to figure out these different um, data points within an invoice. Um, once we extract the information from the invoice, we create an electronic and uh, uh, we create the electronic representation of the invoice. We also take the original invoice and save it into the co uh, content repository. So the image of the original invoice is saved into the content repository, so which allows us to remove the filing cabinets um, and, and automate the whole process. As the invoice is in uh, in the content repositories, we can start complex or collaborative workflows for approvals um, across the organizations. A lot of the organizations use um, off intra-office mail to send invoices back and forth to get approvals, but with our solution, the invoices can be digitized, the original image of the invoice is kept in the content repository, and we can uh, cre um, start up workflows which span the organization. Um, and once the invoice is reviewed by, let's say, the original requester uh, uh, of that purchase order, and they approve it, of course, we uh, automatically create that uh, in a voucher, in this case, in JD Edwards or other ERP systems. Uh, automatically, so without anyone having to type in any information, a voucher is created within ERP system uh, uh, or JD Edwards um, without anyone having to type anything. So we also include a link to the original image uh, within that voucher so folks can um, or AP team can look at the image if they have any questions and don't have to go through filing cabinets. Um, so with that, what I want to do is show you a quick demo of this process, accounts payable automation, and then we'll pick up more detail on this. So as I, as I was explaining, there are three um, top level activities in this process. The first one is receive, scan, and extract. Um, so in this queue, um, the scan administrator or another role, whoever is responsible for, for, for this queue, will uh, see how the data extraction is progressing. Uh, it will, uh, that person, uh, she, he or she can look at how many invoices they scanned or how many uh, were received from email and did the system process all of them. They can look at the original image. Um, and um, and their job or their role would be just to make sure none of the invoices have any validation issues. And if it does, they'll need to follow up 
and figure out how to resolve those validation issues. So validation issues can be a supplier doesn't exist in in ERP system uh, f from whom we are receiving the invoice, or um, if a stock-based uh, invoice, the um, uh, some of the items don't match up. So any of those um, issues will be picked up by uh, by our data extraction process. If everything looks good, as in this case it does, it will create um, a digital representation of those invoices. And the next um, role will be notified uh, that um, system requires approval um, uh, for, for those digitized invoices. So they will get an email, they'll click on it, and they can see all of the invoices that are waiting for their approval. And um, they can either approve them right from that screen or they can look at it in more detail. Um, so if you see all of these line items were extracted without anyone having to type in any of this information, and um, they can, they, in this scenario, let's say the role is purchase order requester, um, they can also look at the original image of the uh, of the invoice that was sent by the supplier, and uh, they can compare if they want. And if everything looks good to them, they can approve the invoice or they can reject the invoice. Um, I have several invoices which have been approved, um, where a voucher is has been created. We'll look at some of those. You can click on that, and it will. Uh, show you that the invoice uh, is created with, uh, I'm sorry, the voucher is created within JD AdWords without anyone having to type in uh, any of the line items or the header information. Also, we ha attach an image to the, attach a link to the original image within uh, within ERP system, so AP team or folks who just have access, who just want to work in, in JD AdWords can uh, uh, can go and look at it um, within JD Edwards. Um, so the image is there as well. And uh, what, what we do is we do not put the actual image within JD Edwards. We put a link so we don't want to uh, add too much space uh, to, uh, to JD Edwards database. So that's why we uh, take that approach. Uh, once the invoice is approved, uh, it gets paid within JD AdWords, and, and management can see um, can see several reports um, uh, to to figure out how is this channel progressing, how many invoices are still pending approval, how many um, voucher, how many invoices where vouchers were created, and and these reports are drillable, so you can um, uh, from from the dashboard, you can go into the actual data. And of course, we can create specific reports uh, based on uh, client's requirement. Uh, it can also give you an overview of, um, uh, you know, from this channel, or from paper, or through email, or through fax, how many invoices uh, we're getting, and who, who are the uh, suppliers we're doing most of our business with, what are we purchasing the most, so it gives you that kind of information at your fingertips. Um, what we can also do is uh, integrate with SharePoint. So if you if you have a um, rollout of an existing ECM system like SharePoint and everyone is on that system, what we can do is instead of uh, putting the content within EIP, we can put the content within SharePoint and people can uh, look at um, uh, uh, look at the invoices within SharePoint, and they can also look at the vouchers from uh, from SharePoint. So you know, so so if you have a huge rollout of SharePoint, we can uh, put put the, all of the invoices and the content within within SharePoint. Also, what we ha can do with our uh, solution is. Um, some of our clients have asked where, when we're creating, let's say, AR invoices, uh, they want to take that AR invoice and attach it to the account within Salesforce. So we can we can do that as well. So here um, and and provide the uh, link to the image, or, or we can get the um, sales orders uh, in on 
you know, as customer purchase order through paper or through email, and then we can create an opportunity or a court and then convert it into a sales order within JD Adverse or another ERP system. So we, we, we do that as well here. So the, the, those are some of the capabilities that our system has where we can uh, break down the silos between uh, um, business processes and enterprise applications and bring uh, and make the process uh, business process more efficient and easy to work with. Um, our our um, reporting engine is is uh, can be as robust as your uh, uh, or complex as your requirements. If you require uh, extraction of, let's say, uh, uh, data from different systems, uh, let's say from JD Edwards, uh, Salesforce, and uh, uh, and um, Google Analytics, what we can, what our reporting engine allows you to do is connect to all these different data sources, bring the information back, and create a dashboard. With, or create a report in PDF format or Excel format and make it available uh, in a very quick and efficient manner. So here's an example of where we're connecting to different data sources and, 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 and providing uh, very good analytics on that. So with that, um, my quick demo is done. Let's go back to the, to the slides. Give me one second. I want to cover uh, the demo that I, I showed you in a little bit more detail. Uh, so what we what we saw was the main two um, main two workspaces that I showed you were the scan admin workspace and the manager workspace or uh, purchase order request or approval work, workspace. And the scan admin or scan operator, um, uh, what they what he his responsibility or her responsibility is to receive and scan the invoices. And once they do that, in the background, our system cross-checks uh, against the ERP data just to make sure as we're extracting the information, it is valid. So if, uh, for example, we make sure if the invoice is a PO-based, we make sure a PO exists in the ERP system. If it's stock-based items, we make sure uh, that the uh, uh, items or the purchase order has those stocked items. Uh, we, if it has line items, we make sure that the line items add up within the invoice as we're extracting them. And if we run into any of those issues, you know, we flag those issues. Um, how do we make that happen is we rely on context-based recognition. So where uh, in, uh, on the paper the information is, we, you know, we have a library of keywords, like purchase order NBR, purchase order pound sign. Uh, so we know, you know, the characters following that will be the purchase order number. Uh, and we also have other um, other rules that we use, like fuzzy search and business rule uh, to streamline the data, specific data extraction uh, requirements that we have. And, and as exceptions or re validation are, are required, the exception handling is very simple. In just a few clicks, the um, invoice can be moved on to the next step. But most of the time, 80% of the time, um, you know, as long as, as all of the master data is valid on the invoice, it will not go through an exception handling process. Um, the manager workspace, what it allows you, allows uh, EIP allows uh, the manage, management of invoices is very collaboratively review and approve the invoices instead of passing around uh, paper um, invoices. What we can do is digitize them and uh, start enterprise workflows to uh, manage those invoices. And of course, it allows you to uh, create reports, which uh, allows uh, which helps us understand what are we buying the most, who are we buying from and also uh, help us manage the suppliers if the invoices are rejected, why they were uh, rejected, and, and uh, allow us to follow up those uh, on those invoices. So do, those are the two um, major workspaces and roles uh, for um, AP automation 
uh, uh, solution that we have out of the box. I want to discuss a little bit more on the um, on the architecture, and um, what we have is, as Sunil touched upon this in, in, in the beginning, what we have is a single platform which integrates imaging, content management, uh, and EI capabilities in one platform. Uh, and what this allows us to do is provide uh, low-cost integration um, uh, of, of these different capabilities or these different uh, components uh, in, into a platform which is, uh, where the integration has already been, already have been done. Uh, alternative would be to buy these different components and uh, try to integrate them uh, yourself, which can lead to a very expensive and long-running project. And of course, it won't lead to a paperless uh, office uh, in, in short time. But what our platform allows you to do is uh, take any business process um, and integrate the different applications that you have into a into a very cohesive uh, process in a short and low cost uh, solution. And what we have done is to make this um, to make it um, to make this happen. What we have done is we also are creating. Um, uh, solutions uh, on top uh, of this platform. So we have a solution for several ERP system like JD Edwards, um, Oracle EBS, um, and also we are integrating with the ECM like SharePoint and CRM system like Salesforce. Uh, out of the box, you get all of that integration and you get these workflows which make it easy for, um, uh, for, for, for us to deliver a solution very quickly. Um, on top of that, we add, not, not only we have the OCR engine and, a, and an integration platform, but on top of that, we have a very robust reporting platform which allows us to uh, in, in create any, out, any format uh, that the business uh, requirement uh, requires. So I touched upon document capture very quickly, and uh, what I want to do is is uh, show you a little bit more, or talk about it a little bit more about um, document capture. And what our OCR engine has, has is one of the best in in the industry, and it has won several awards and patents. And allows for, for digitization of all types of paper which enter an organization. And what we can do is we can digitize uh, invoices, purchase orders, sales orders uh, without uh, creating complex templates. But some some um, uh, forms like insurance claim forms or loan applications they require um, a template-based uh, solution because. They're specific to an organization, and, and an organization knows, you know, exactly what the the form looks like. And in those scenarios, we can have a template-based solution. Um, what one of our our, our capability is the intelligent document recognition, and. Uh, what um, what intelligent document recognition uh, entails is one scanning from email and making sure we can cross reference the data against ERP systems um, and if there are any issues we you know um, uh, erase them in the beginning of the uh, the process um, and once the uh, the the validation is complete extraction is complete and scanning is complete. Uh, the output, the image, the original, uh, the image of the original invoice of, or the original document is compressed uh, to make sure it doesn't take up a lot of storage space. So all of these different components provide uh, make it very easy for us to extract information from and from any for uh, any type of uh, uh, document that you might have. Uh, we also include document creation uh, capabilities within EIP, and uh, what our document creation capabilities allow you to do is create invoices, financial reports, sales reports, 
and we we can uh, collect information from all the different uh, uh, systems. So if you have if you're creating an invoice and you need to add cross sell or upsell uh, information, uh, we can connect to CRM system or other ERP system, and get the information and include it in in, in that uh, in that invoice. Uh, what our solution also allows you to do is distribute those invoices via print, fax, email, or make it available on portals uh, as you may require. Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, yeah, what another uh, another capability I want to discuss a little bit in more detail is the process automation piece. And in um, and, and this capability, what it allows uh, is really uh, controlling all of the other adapters or all of the other uh, capabilities that we have and integrates it with the human workflow. So this is more of the, um, you know, the control center and, uh, that allows you to uh, integrate the OCR uh, capability, the uh, report generation capability, and then connecting to different um, enterprise application or cloud applications and brings it all together uh, and and include uh, and includes the human um, human workflow aspect to it so this capability makes um, you know, makes sure everything is communicating with each other and makes it uh, and makes it easy for us to uh, create solutions in a timely manner One of our case study is, uh, which is available, um, is the is is um, is is how we replaced uh, an existing process and organization. One of our clients had, and uh, the pain points that they had were long invoice processing time, poor error recovery, and it wasn't scalable, uh, and they weren't there wasn't any archiving capability, so customers will call in, uh, you know, having questions about the invoice that they received, but the invoice that they were looking at and, and, and the customer server representative uh, had the information were in a two different format or to, uh, was showing a different version of the invoice, so they couldn't figure out some of those issues. And, and, um, and, and the, and this is a perfect example where uh, this client tried to create a solution based on the on the uh, different capabilities that they had in house. So they used the BI tool, they used j custom Java coding to create this solution. But it still, uh, after a long project, it still didn't fulfill all their requirement. We were able to make it six times faster. Uh, we were able to provide the multi-phase error recovery, very scalable configuration provide flexible archiving and retrieval, um, and provided very efficient print management. So if there were any issues with printing, we can restart the print job and things along those lines. Uh, not only that, we added the fax and email capability within the same process. So the, 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 this case study, I like this case study because it outlines how organizations do spend a lot of money, but if they don't have the right tool set, you know, after a long project, it, you know, it still it doesn't fulfill all the requirements. And having the right tool set for that job just makes it a lot easier to uh, uh, create the solution and move forward. With that, I am done with the uh, uh, with the demo and and some of the slides that I. Have.